Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Chase Corrington. If we're just meeting, this is my YouTube channel where we seek to achieve and maintain happiness through enlightenment, seek to discover the hidden mysteries of our reality and the hidden wisdom of the ages. Now, deuterium. Have you ever heard of deuterium? I haven't, not until today. Not until today. Let's see if I can type in a little Google search here. See if we can do this. D E U D U T E R I U M D E U T E R I U M Deuterium. Now let's see if I can share the screen here. Zoom meeting. Share screen and deuterium and Google search here. So, hopefully, one way to find out deuterium. Check this out deuterium is one of the isotopes of hydrogen. It has one proton, one neutron. In contrast, the most common isotope of hydrogen, proteum has one proton and no neutrons. Because deuterium contains a neutron, it is more massive or heavier than proteum, proteum. So it is sometimes called heavy hydrogen. Um, where is deuterium found? It's one of two stable isos isotopes. Where is deuterium found? Let's click that one. Natural abundance in Earth's oceans, in water. What are we? How much water are we made of, folks? And how much of that is actually hydrogen? That's probably an interesting number. Um, keep that thought to the side. This thus deuterium accounts for approximately 0.02 cent mass of all the naturally occurring hydrogens in the oceans. Proteum accounts for more than 99%. That's fascinating. So where is this coming from? I'm listening to this video. Uh, Matt Belair, the Master Mind Body Spirit Show. Um, I listen on YouTube. But he's got a podcast, so if you're a um, Apple product user, you can find him on there. But he just did a video with Dr. Q. Collins, I think is his name. At least that's what it says here in the description. Dr. Q. Collins, co-founder and principal investigator for the Center of Deuterium Depletion. Incredible. So I, my mind is just blown. I'm only 42 minutes into a two-hour podcast Matt did with Dr. Q. Collins, and this is just incredible. It's titled The Most Powerful and Unknown Health and Performance Hack which is 100% true, low deuterium water. And so I was gonna write down something Dr. Collins said there. When we think of death, and everybody talks about brain death, it's not brain death, but it's, Once the nanomotors that are making energy stop, so let's go back here. I want to write this down, this is important. Once deuterium levels get too high, once D E U T E R I U M deuterium levels get too high. I also heard today earlier, according to a university study, is one of the big universities, that when you write something down, 
compared to type it into a device, you remember it a lot better. So we're writing this down. Once deuterium levels get too high, you can't make energy. And this is coming from Dr. Q. Collins. All credit goes to Matt Belair and Q. Collins for dropping this information. I'm like, wow. And so I'm here to share it with those of you that may not um, be aware or connected to Dr. Q. Collins or Matthew Belair in the Mastermind Body Spirit Show and any other people that are talking about these groundbreaking revolutionary ideas. It's, it, these things need to be known. Like C60? Who, how many people know about C60? If you don't know about C60, go to c60purplepower.com or just type C60 Buckminster Fullerene and do a Google search yourself here. Let me stop screen sharing real quick while we write this down. But back to deuterium here. So once deuterium levels get too high, you can't, I like saying you can no longer instead of can't, you can no longer create energy. Sorry if I'm a slow writer. You're done. Wow, he words it so good. Apostrophe R E. You're done. Exclamation point. This is powerful. So you're done. Y O U apostrophe R E. Showing the possessive. <laughs> I think, anyways. Sorry about my shiny forehead. That's. It's literally this bright light right there, and it's warm out. I don't know. Judgment thoughts. Anyways, maybe we'll get some get some brightness. See, see how easily distracted I am. It's crazy. Once deuterium levels get too high, you can no longer create energy. You're done. Your body shuts off. Oh. So when we think of death and B R A I N brain death age it's not brain death it's not brain death it's once our he calls them nano motors i'd almost like to search that let's let's do that real quick once our nano M-O-T-O-R-S, once our nanomotors stop, we stop creating energy. Once the nanomotors stop, well, oops, scribble out stop there. Once, the na once our nanomotors that R A R E making energy. Once our nanomotors that are making energy stop, because that's what they're doing, they can't be started again. Or can they? We're going to assume right now they can't be started. Again, A-G-A-I-N. Or can they? I love the whole devil's advocate thing. Uh, what were we going to search? Nano motors. O-R-S. Nano motors. 
I bet it's gonna bring up like a tech uh, technical. Yeah, it's right here. It brings up here. Let me share the screen. I've always been uncertain about sharing screens like this because I don't know about copyright stuff about all the stuff on this page here but you know it's only one way to find out right so this is what it brought up nanomotors are molecular machines that utilize chemical energy to generate physical movement of molecules viruses utilize nanomotors to package their genomes blah 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 nanomotor molecular nanoscale device capable of converting energy into movement. So it, it describes it as a device. I'm like, is this an organic device? Let's add to our search. Um, are nanomotors organic? Propulsion mechanisms, self propelled machines. Doesn't sound organic. Dissolved in organic solvent. Biodegradable hybrids, stomicide, nanomotors. That's fascinating. We're going to stop the share there and go back to what we were doing here. So, once deuterium levels, this is mind blowing for me. I just felt like I had to come on and share it because I want to do this every day, but for some reason I hit a mental block and don't do it. Once deuterium levels get too high, you can no longer create energy. You're done. Your body shuts off. It's just that simple. So when we think of death and brain death, it's not brain death. It's once our nanomotors, all credit to Dr. Q Collins here, speaking with Matt Belair on his most recent podcast, the mastermind body spirit show or the matt belair matthew belair youtube channel so once our nanomotors that are making energy stop they can't be started again that's what death is wow what That's what death is. Why do I write this down? I don't know. If, if all this technological stuff is gone one day, and I'm like, man, I wish I had all that information I learned to refer back to. I'm glad I got it written down. Now, that's what death is. I'm going to have to put a wow. Wow. <laughs> Mm, that's what death is. And then I'm going to put in parentheses here, DEF period definition, the inability, inability, T, it's not I-T-Y, <laughs> maybe, inability. Anyways, the inability to create, I gotta get this right. The inability to make metabolic energy. It's funny how you go through school and you don't give two cares in the world. And then 20 years later, you're like, why didn't I pay attention? Because there was no purpose. See, that's the secret to success at anything is purpose. At least for me, I need to know why. Why am I doing what I'm doing? What is the purpose? Then I'd be the best kid in class. I remember my teachers telling my parents, he's really smart, he can do it if he just applies himself. And they always tried to figure out why I wasn't applying myself. And I think I've learned, it really comes down to purpose. <laughs> Definition, that's what death is. The inability to make 
metabolic energy. You can't start it back up with paddles. That's a good add on right there. Thinking of the electricity. So think. Well, if you were thinking of electricity, then you would think you could start it up with paddles. So it's not that you need electricity, it's that the capacity for your meat modem to continue to produce energy is depleted. Our ability to produce energy becomes overwhelmed by too high deuterium levels which stops the energy production in our body. Therefore, the energy, the essence that we are, uh, metaphysically, spiritually, however you want to quantify that, the energy that we are that can neither be created nor destroyed has to find a new meat modem. It has to find a new vessel where the energy can continue to flow. It, it makes me think like our soul or our spirit or whatever we are, our energy essence is like this, it's this thing that has unlimited energy creation potential, but it needs, in order to exist on the three dimensional, you know, this density, this earth plane, it has to have a modem or, or a vessel which can transmute that unlimited potential into third density energy. And if our body has too high deuterium levels, then our essence that is this unlimited, uh, unending energy creation powerhouse, once it doesn't have somewhere to do that activity here in the third density, I'm just ranting my mind here, it pops out of the third density to where it has room to flow and finds new vessel to begin to create more energy in a new way that can contribute to the rest of the whole. Because we, as an energetic essence, are part of the energetic whole. And so if energy can neither be created nor destroyed, then technically it just needs new vessels when it can no longer express or manifest in the third density. This is just what's coming to my mind when I heard this. This is so powerful. Definition, the inability to make metabolic energy. So think electricity, think electricity, mm, but that seems, I'm going to put in parentheses there, not limited to 3D, so metaphysical electricity which it is anyways, but some of us have a hard time thinking that. My phone's trying to get me to think of different things with notifications. Think electricity, not limited to 3D. You, the inability to make metabolic energy. You can't start it again with p-a-d-d-l-e paddles if that's how you spell paddles with paddles to restart the heart or electric activity of the body 
B E C A U S E because the body no longer just to say it again has the ability to create energy. Comma, even though it should be a period. <laughs> so the energy Ah, so the energy potential, T-I-A-O, of our E-S-S-E-N-C-E, -E, of our essence, that's how you spell it. So the energy or energetic potential of our essence needs a new needs a new form mode of expression uh, needs a new manifestation uh, needs a new place to go that ah here we go needs a new place to Go, I'm trying to look up at you often, so I'm not just like ignoring the camera. Needs a new place to go that will allow energy production that will allow energy production. And I want to add as part of the W-H-O-L-E of the whole. As part of the whole, and then I'm going to add the quote, energy can uh, I don't know if it's neither, but anyways, in a e e i n i e be created nor destroyed by e d deuterium. Time to do some more research, ladies and gentlemen. Not to mention the connections that deuterium has to breath and the connections that breath has to the force or in hermetic terms, vital force. Uh, man, I find it so fascinating. The things that start to link together I started reading into the initiation into hermetics and I just kept thinking of Jedi's. I'm like, dude, this is the Jedi. This, this is it. This is Jedi handbook one. Like maybe, you know, some of the other hermetic things are, <laughs> it's just amazing. And then the connection of breath work with meditation and energy movement. And then the connection between deuterium and energy creation and hydrogen being a part of water and us being a part of water and there being uh, the whole connections between air and water and this deuterium stopping the creation of energy it's like wow these things are connecting ladies and gentlemen I'm so excited that I had the opportunity to get on, literally make this video and share it with you. Uh, I'm going to post it right after I end this recording. Um, just want to add on, C60 is another thing that will really help you 
create energy at the cellular level. And if I'm catching on to anything here, I have a feeling that C60 and other things we can do to help our health in harmonious ways, um, fixing the cause instead of masking the symptoms type of things. I have a feeling there's a connection here, the energy creation at the cellular level, and then this deuterium comes in and, you know, I'm thinking about breath work and there's, there's a lot coming together right now, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot, but I think I'll leave it at that. Oh, let me show you the painting I did yesterday. Might get a little weird out of focus here. I want to do this this morning on this morning's video. That's actually an old painting, but boom. So beautiful, isn't it? Did that yesterday. Just a beautiful, it's a Bob Ross episode if you want to check out how Bob Ross did it. I'm going to upload it on my CLC paint channel in the future once I can edit the video. But the Bob Ross episode was called Indian Summer. And I've been listening to Scotty Roberts on the Intrepid Radio program. And he's been talking a lot about the history of the Native Americans. And man, it's been so fascinating. He's got me listening to Native American chanting music and I'm just trying to gain a great, great respect for the reality that we live in. And that's a perfect segue to, to my catchphrase, I guess it is. But this is the Chase Corrington YouTube channel where we seek to achieve and maintain happiness through enlightenment, where we seek to discover the hidden mysteries of our reality and the hidden wisdom of the ages. And I have a feeling everything we just talked about is definitely that. I hope this video goes up just fine. Hope there's no problems. Um, shoot. We'll leave it at that, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Uh, smash the like button. Really helps the channel out. Uh, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know if you're looking into the same type of stuff. If maybe, you know, you want to talk about it or something and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet hit the little bell to get notifications and if you've done that then you'll see next time i post a video and we'll be back in the future ladies and gentlemen with more interesting topics to throw your way thank you sincerely